Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a b plus a, this is equal to 28. Let's call this equation 1. Then a plus a b plus b, this is equal to 30. Let's call this equation 2. So what is the value of a and what is the value of b? Now solution from here, solution. The first thing to do here, let's subtract equation 1 and 2. That is, subtract equation 1 minus equation 2. So this implies that we have a, b plus a, subtract equation 2, which is a, b plus b. This is equal to 28 minus 30. So here we have a, b plus a, subtract a, b, then minus times plus b, this is minus b, this is equal to 28 minus 30, this is minus 2. Now, a, b minus a, b, this simplifies, then here we have a minus b, this is equal to minus 2. From here, from here, we can make A to be the subject of the formula so that A will be equal to B minus 2. Let's call this equation 3. Now, from here, let's substitute equation 3 into equation 2. Now, from equation 2, from equation 2 in this case, this is A, B plus B. This is equal to 30. So since we have the value of a in the equation 3, let's substitute the value of a so that we have b times b minus 2, then plus b. This is equal to 30. So b times b, this is b squared minus b times minus 2. This is 2b. Then plus b, this is equal to 30. The next step from here, let's take 30 on the left hand side so that we have b squared minus 2b plus b, this is minus b, then minus 30, this is equal to 0. So this is now here we have b squared minus b minus 30, this is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1, and c is equal to minus 30. So this quadratic equation, we can solve by factorization method. That is, we identify the product, the product here of two numbers. This is actually minus 30. The sum is equal to minus 1. So these two factors, these two factors, these two factors is minus 6 and 5. If we say negative 6 times 5, this is minus 30. If we say minus 6 plus 5, this is minus 1. So these two factors satisfies the condition. Now we have b squared minus 6b plus 5b minus 30. This is equal to 0. So from here, let's factor b. We factor out b so that we have b into the parentheses b minus 6. Then plus. Now from here, you find that 5 is common here, so we can factor out 5 so that you have b minus 6. This is equal to 0. So here we have b plus 5, and here we have b minus 6. So this is equal to 0. So this implies that we have two parts here. We have b plus 5. This is equal to 0. 
and we have b minus 6 this is equal to 0 so b1 is equal to minus 5 and we have that b2 is equal to 6 now we have b1 and we have b2 so let's solve for the corresponding values of a now from equation 3 here we have that a is equal to b minus 2 so a is equal to b minus 2 so this implies that a1 is equal to b1 is minus 5 subtract 2 and this implies that a1 is equal to minus 7. We have that a2 is equal to b2 minus 2. So this implies that a2 is equal to 6 minus 2. And this implies that a2 is equal to 4. So this means that a1, comma b1, the first set of solution, is equal to negative 7 and negative 5. This is the first set of solution. And we have a2, comma b2, this is equal to 4 comma 6 so these are two set of solutions that we have so let's verify let's verify that these two set of solutions actually satisfies the equation now if you recall we have that a b plus a this is equal to 28 and we have that a b plus b this is equal to 30. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Now, taking equation 1 and 2, by taking the first set of solution, A1, B1, which is minus 7 and minus 5, substituting this, we're going to have minus 7 times minus 5, then plus a, which is minus 7, this should give us a value of 28. So, minus 7 times minus 5, this is 35. Then, plus times minus 7, this is minus 7. This should give us a value of 28. So, 35 minus 7, this is 28, which is equal to 28. So, the left add side is equal to the right add side. So, this verifies that the first set of solution satisfies the equation now let's check a2 comma b2 using equation one in this case we'll have this is four six so we're going to have four times six then plus a which is four this is supposed to give us a value of 28 six times four this is 24 plus 4 this is supposed to give us a value of 28 so 24 plus 4 this is 28 which is equal to 28 so the left add side is equal to the right add side so that verifies that equation 1 is satisfied by the two set of solutions so let's check equation 2 now equation 2 we have a b plus b this should give us a value of that now using the first set of solution a1 b1 which is minus 7 minus 5 this implies that here we have minus 7 times minus 5 then plus b which is minus 5 this is supposed to give us a value of that so minus 7 times minus 5 this is 35 then minus 5 this is supposed to give us a value of 30 that 5 minus 35 that is 30 which is equal to 30 so that means that the left add side is equal to the right add side so this implies that a1 b1 satisfies the, equ the equation 
let's check for a to b to which is actually 4 comma 6 so we're going to have 4 times 6 then plus b which is 6 this is supposed to give us a value of 30 so in this case 4 times 6 this is 24 plus 6 this should give us a value of 30 so this is 24 plus 6 which is 30 and this is equal to 30 so this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side so this implies that the two set of solutions that is a1 b1 and a2 b2 satisfies the equation so kindly follow the steps like this video and subscribe